So look, we've been through many winter storms here in western New York through the years, and what's often most prudent is to start diagnosing this town by town, city by city, even county by county. This is going to affect us all, but in different ways. Now, now case in point, let me start off with some of our live traffic cameras, which by this time tomorrow, 24 hours from now, are going to look vastly different. Some of them you won't even be able to see anything with blizzard conditions setting up. And I'm going to highlight those now in Batavia, Pembroke, Back to the west as you get into places like Buffalo. Guess what? Travel is going to be almost impossible. And I don't go on TV and use those words loosely. That is a reality of tomorrow into Christmas Eve. But in Rochester and Geneva and Victor and northward towards Charlotte. Now, it's not going to be a lot of fun to be driving in, but it's going to be a completely different animal. This is exponentially worse west of Rochester, getting toward Buffalo, including parts of our viewing area into Orleans and Genesee County. This is rain. Might be a wet snowflake or two mixed in. You don't care about that because it's not going to stick or accumulate or turn to ice yet. Not now, not tonight, not into the wee hours of tomorrow morning. I'm going to give this about 9 a.m. Anybody in Rochester who's got somewhere to be and you're driving maybe within 15, 20 minutes of town here, that's the number I'm going to give you. I will give you until 9 o'clock in the morning. After that, the Arctic front is now racing on by. This is an exceptionally deep and strong area of low pressure. And this temperature drop is not going to be one of the run of the mill ones. Oh, we're going to get cold, but it takes six hours to get there. It's going to take like 20 minutes to end up getting there. Numbers rapidly dropping into the 20s. From there, we turn our attention then to this band of lake effect snow, which will be causing full fledged blizzard conditions from Buffalo to Batavia and even some rough travel here, clipping parts of northwest Monroe County as well. And if, if that wasn't enough out of this, the wind then coming along for the ride, especially Rochester West going into Friday night. You, you notice I'm saying that a lot, by the way, the Rochester West. That is the lean to where the worst of this is. So here's our issues. You're watching us here in town. This is what I want you to know out of this. Issue number one, and we can take this chronologically, will be the flash freeze. 9 a.m. and beyond, that free fall in temperatures, whatever rain we've had through the night that has not had enough time to evaporate is going to ice over. Crews will be out there treating, not saying it's going to be impossible travel, but what I am saying is it's going to be slick. And my concern is it's not going to look that slick because there's not a ton of snow that's going to be along there too. Strong winds will be magnified and maximized as we go into Friday evening and Friday night. This to me is probably my biggest concern out of this whole thing in the Rochester area. The power outages because of that bitter cold that will start to work its way on in here and still some snow. Now what you need to be doing out of this right now is reconnect considering travel plans. If you haven't done this already, you're running out of time. This is both Friday and Saturday. If you're traveling east, you're still going to run into some snow and the flash freeze will be a thing and it's going to be cold. But anybody westbound, you really need to give some deep thought about whether you want to put yourself in jeopardy being on roads with blizzard conditions looking almost imminent at this point. Prep to stay warm. We're going to have power outages, folks. Now, whether it's a few thousand or tens of thousands remains to be seen out of this, but some of you will end up losing power. When it gets that cold, you can't heat things. My other problem with this is it's still going to be windy and really cold on Saturday. The capability of crews being able to get that power back not going to be as efficient as uh, we normally get out of this, but also know the reality. We're not screaming from the mountaintops so much here in town in Rochester. We have our issues, but the worst of this without question off to our west. There's your wind gusts. 60 to 65 miles an hour. That's your corridor of highest power outages out of this. There's your snow totals. Big difference west side versus east side. Barely any snow on the east side. Everybody keeps with the cold going into Christmas on Sunday. We're back after the break.